Hello Phoenix, here's another video featuring Permaculture Dan. The following is an educational permaculture video presented by Warner's Tree Surgery featuring Daniel Lee Thompson at his home food forest in Gilbert, Arizona sometime in April 2012. Live. So the Indians that, that were actually here were extreme survivors. Um, and what the Spanish did to them was just um, sinful. <laughs> Stand in front of an indigenous person. Say to him in a language that he does not understand. Declare my God above all other gods. Otherwise, you're going to be infidels and so surrender to me or die. And neither one understood what the other ones were saying. And they proceeded to have to use it again. Did you know that in the... Now, this was the story of gold, actually. The real story of gold. From when they came here, they were looking for gold. The gold came from the north. These veins of the Rocky Mountains through the geologic epoch had been dropping the gold in the streams and, and this and that. So there were, there were stream beds that had gold veins that crossed them in the open. The Wickenburg Mine, by the way, Wickenburg Mine in Arizona, Mr. Wickenburg was on the, this side of the Hacienda River, and it took him two days of planning just to figure out where he could get across the Hacienda River, where he kept seeing at the sundown, two suns. He was going, holy shit, why is this? Two suns, there, there's a sun, but suddenly here's another sun right there. Anyway, he finally gets across the, the Hacienda River, and there's a vein of gold 15 feet wide right on the surface. And it was the reflection of the sun every night on this vein of gold that he was seeing. That tipped him off. That tipped him off. And did you know that that is the only uh, the northern armies parked a whole battalion of people on top of that gold and held them there for the entire... Nobody was allowed to go in or out just to feed you this but so that the south wouldn't get that gold. And they didn't mine it at all. I mean, they didn't do anything other than just sit on top of it. Yeah, and then that gold was just all gone. <laughs> anyway... Let's use uh, this erosion of our topsoil that filled, and when you volumetrically do it, and we want to do this someday, some great producer will come, I want a 1540s picture of the real original coastline, and then 20 feet at a time, take the dirt and put it back up on the mountains. Then take the biomass and put it up on the mountains, because all of this is virtually impervious. Rocks are impervious. Rocks, concrete, houses, roads, this, asphalt, and yards that look like these around here. Right. After a two inch rain, pick dry dirt this deep. So, what we have done is we're suffocating our mother. We're suffocating the earth that we live upon. How are we ever going to fill the wells if we don't get the water in? Well, here's one permaculture, here's the permaculture golden rule. First rule uncompact the land. Pattern the land gets the runoff to plant pioneer species. Now, what does this mean? When you uncompact the land, we're all familiar in Arizona with caliche. You've heard of caliche. Sure. <laughs> caliche, that hard stuff, it's a brick. Take 100 pounds of that. If you can get it wet, you'd have to have it at the bottom of the lake for a long time yeah. to get it wet. But anyway, it would hold about a pound of water. Break it up, and there's enough surface area to hold about. Uh, 30 pounds of water. But when it dries, it's back to the brick again. <laughs> Humus, the organic matter of the soil, all of this, this kind of stuff, that holds 100 and uh, 100 pounds of humus will hold 195 pounds of water. Six I mean, you know, almost, yeah. almost twice its own weight. Plus, it's got Why? little pockets for all the micronutrients as well. Right. It, so it, it, it provides 
housing, for structure, for micronutrients, and for all kinds of critters and animals. And it is a sponge. So one one holds 30 water, you know, 30 pounds of water, or just a pound per acre, right. and the other holds 195 pounds. Well, so this is what went away in a natural flowing ecosystem, unscrewed around it, only 26% of the water that came to shore returns to the ocean via the rivers. 26%. So where's the other 74%? It's moving uphill because of the rotation of the earth. This video was made in Gilbert, Arizona. The person talking is Dan Thompson. Dan can be reached at 480-688-3335.